Thank you so much for joining us. It's time now for what we do every Friday. We talk to our night sky guy, astronomer extraordinaire, Andrew Fazekas. How are you doing today, Andrew? Well, good morning, Emily. Doing good fine. Good morning. Is it cold enough for you? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, even my dogs don't want to go out. <laughs> I bet. But you know, the good news is, is that today it's going to be a little bit warmer, but get ready because there's a cool down on the weekend, but that could also mean clear skies. What do you have for us? Well, uh, we have, you know, we've been talking about the Orion constellation because mm -hmm. it's like the, it's, it's probably the easiest constellation for anyone, even beginner stargazers, to check out in the southern, southeast skies. And we're going to wrap things up this week by focusing in on the real treasure that's inside this constellation. And we got our, st our star chart set up of where the constellation is in the evening skies. It's visible for the next few weeks in the southeastern sky, say around 7, 8 o'clock. This is the sky set up here. And you'll see a line of three stars that we've talked about before. That's Orion's belt, the, the hunter's belt. But underneath that belt, hanging almost vertically, is uh, Orion's sword. It's another group of three stars. Here's a closer view. You see Orion's belt on the upper left, and mm -hmm. then you have the row of three, three stars going down. But what is really interesting is that middle star in the sword. It looks like a fuzzy star to the naked eye. If you bring out binoculars, you can see that it's not a star at all. It's a nebula. It's a gas cloud. Oh. This is a close-up view of what it would look like uh, if you took a picture through a backyard telescope. And what you're seeing here is basically a stellar nursery. Uh, it's, it's where baby stars are born. Uh, there's over 40 stars clustered at the center. That's what's making this whole gas cloud glow, like in a beautiful pinky color. And what's really neat, uh, this gas cloud is about 20 light years across. It means that light takes 20 years to go from one end to the other. Oh, wow. And you get this, it's 1,200 light years away from the Earth. That means that when you look up in the sky and you see that fuzzy, fuzzy little blob, <laughs> think about that. It's 1,200 light years away. Wow, that's a nursery very, very far away, <laughs> but really beautiful. It's really spectacular. Now, are we sticking with the Orion theme for the Cosmic Quiz? That's right. One last time, we'll stick with that theme. And this week's question is, well, it's sort of like you've got to fill in the blank here. Okay. Orion the Hunter was the son of who? A, Poseidon, B, Zeus, or how about the god Apollo, C? Hmm. Andrew, that one's hard. See, last <laughs> week, I guessed that he was the hunter. I was right. I was totally right. I guessed that he was the hunter. Okay, I'll have my guests coming up, but we're going to move on now. What do you have for us in Space News? Well, in Space News, Hubble Space Telescope has really gone into action again and, and taken a beautiful image of, again, of a nebula, one of these gas clouds, that's within, buried within a cluster of stars. It's so beautiful. It's a picture postcard. Um, and it's a unique nebula that's uh, in this cluster. And get this, it's over 10,000 light years away in a constellation called uh, Pixies. It's called the Compass. It's visible in the southern hemisphere. And the Hubble snapped this picture, and it shows something of what the sun will look like in about five billion years from now. We <laughs> hopefully will be gone when the sun Whoa. explodes in <laughs> five billion years. It's going to go in this kaleidoscope of colors that will let go most of its atmosphere. And that's what you're seeing here that's happened about a, a, a million years ago. Okay. There you have it. That's what you get in that many <laughs> years. Wow, could you imagine? Okay, we have a couple seconds left. We need the answer to the cosmic quiz. What do you have? Well, the answer, Orion was the son of A, Poseidon, the it. lord of the sea. I knew it. You see, I was going to go Zeus because that looked like the obvious choice, but <laughs> he was his brother. It was the brother. It's always That's the right. <laughs> a true like soap, opera. soap opera. Yeah, I was just about to say, it's totally like a soap opera. Well, Andrew, thank you so much. It is always a pleasure. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. Well, clear skies. And if you want more information of what Andrew and I talked about today, all you need to do is head to his website. You can see some really spectacular images and get some really cool facts. All you have to go to is www.thenightskyguy.com. And make sure you stay tuned because we're going to be talking about clear skies for you across the prairies this weekend.